I'm revving I'm great, just protecting my investment Ask about me, integrity's not a question B2 Fighting Series fans, this amateur bantamweight battle is set for three rounds at three minutes apiece. First, fighting out of the B2 blue corner. Tonight, in the B2 Fighting Series cage, making his amateur debut. His height, five feet six inches. His weight, 133 pounds. He trains with Team Hammer and comes to you from Loveland, Ohio. This is Steven the Humbler McKee. And his opponent, out of the game, Haven Red Corner. His record, zero wins and one loss. His height, five feet, five inches. His weight, 133 pounds. He trains with Queen City Grappling Club and comes to you from Xenia, Ohio. His name is Zachary Wessler. All right, Stephen McGee in the black and red shorts, Zachary Wesleyan in the black tights. Third minute in the cage, referee Gary Copeland. Bantamweight Let's action here. Now, let's see how long this stays on the feet. Let's see if uh, Westland tries to get it straight to the ground. He might try to stand with him. Fast jab oh, right, right there from the Westland, and then right away into this clinch position. Body lock just ripping McKee to the ground early on in this first round. That's a big confidence builder for Westland early in this first round. He got his first takedown fairly easy. Yeah, he did. That's, that's a huge confidence builder. And now, you know, Stephen McGee's kind of like, oh, gosh, man. I mean, this guy's a bulldog. He, he's not giving me any space to breathe. But he's got to weather the storm. This is a fast pace. He's, he's got to start turning in. He's trying. Oh, he's got his hand trap. Great job by Westland. He's throwing down punches. Westland all over McGee here with this ground and pound. Yeah, Gary Copeland will stop this fight if, if McGee can't do anything to improve his position. Steve McGee's trying to shrimp. He's reclaimed half guard, but we we know that half guard's a terrible place to be in, in the bottom in the MMA bout. But he, he just retained guard, which is a great thing by McGee. Good job by him. That's a victory in itself. But he's got to posh, he's got to keep Westland's posture down. He cannot let Westland do this, stand up and rain down blows on him. You don't have to worry about the up kicks to the face in, in Ohio as an amateur. So that's another thing that, that plays a big factor in, hey, man, he can just rain down blows and he doesn't have to worry about a counter. You can push off to the body, but you don't have to worry about no up kicks to the face. McGee again with his half guard here, reclaiming full guard. But Zachary Westland all over him with this ground and pound. Westland wants to get a first round stoppage. I can feel that right now. Well, I see. You know, McGee is he's covering up really good. He's got the overhook on the on the left side, which is good. He's not taking too much damage. I mean, he is getting hit, but at the same time, I do like his defense. He's he's covering very well, but he can't stay here. He's got to try to get back up to the feet. Westland doing a good job standing up to his feet, dropping his butt down. Good strong base. Posturing, good Kick. shots. And McKee's trying to get up, but Westland's all over him in this first round. Well, like I just said, he, he kicked him off. He, 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 he gave that separation, right? He had that separation. He should have tried to capitalize on that separation. Instead, he was content to stay on his back. Big hammer fist on the right side. And there's blood Westland. coming out of the mouth of McKee right now. He's hurt. He's battered up. Gary Copeland's leaning in. He's taking a good hard look at this. How much more punishment is he going to allow McKee to take? Big ground and pound lands again for Westland. McKee reclaims half guard again. This is a horrible spot for him to be. It's a terrible spot, but the thing is, McGee's got to get back in the guard. And listen, he's got to use that butterfly guard where he had him push Westland off. And when he pushes off, he needs to follow that push and try for a single leg in himself to go to the double and try to get the takedown against a great wrestler in Westland. Westland's just looking really dominant right now. McGee does not have an answer. He's trying. He's got the heart of a dog. But Gary Copeland, he's, he's about to stop this fight. I'm, I'm actually so shocked that Gary Cope has allowed this fight to go on for as long as it is. I mean, Gary's, uh, again, as you said, a great ref, I, he, but usually steps in at that point. He, and he does, but I really feel like, like I, I touched on about 30 seconds ago, is, yes, he was getting touched. He was getting hit, but there was not a huge devastating shot. And I think Gary Copeland saw that, but I guarantee you Gary yes. Copeland's going to go right now and tell him, We're not hey, doing man, that again. We're not doing it again. Yep. He said, I'm not going to sit here and let you just get your, your ass beat for three straight minutes. There's no need for it for you. Right here is the replay. 
You see the head bounce there for Stephen McGee. Uh, and typically when you see that, I mean, it, as you said, Andy, there wasn't any a kill shot, but it was, a, it was three straight minutes of, of McGee getting dribbled. Yeah, and I thought that, you know, he did create separation on Westland. Yes, yes, he did. He did, but he, you got to follow that, right? you got to follow that push and try to get a, a, a single leg or at least get try to get back up to your feet. You can't just push off and stay there because with a, a dominant wrestler like Westland, he's a dog, man. He's coming right back to you. Well, It's like a magnet. You work so hard to get your feet on the hips if you're Stephen McGee. You took the ground and pound. You took the shots. You did all of that to get your feet on the hips of Westland and kick him off, and then you don't stand up, and it's all for nothing. But, I mean, th th that's what amateur is about. This is a debut amateur fighter, and we're going to see this young man grow as this, as this fight goes on and as his fight career goes on. Yeah, look at him. I mean, he's ready to go, man. He's got a heart. He, he knows. Look, hey, man, I got dominated in the first round. Hopefully he made some good adjustments in between rounds. And if I was Westland, I would keep it the same. Nice overhand yeah, right. One, two lands for oh, McGee and uppercut. a right uppercut underneath. But you can not You can only move backwards for so long. And, and Westland holding McGee on the cage here. If Westland would pick them knees, them shots, right, instead of throwing them rapid-fire knees, what happens is that's going to be a low blow. We're assuming that was really close. If he would pick them knees and be more precise with them, they'll be more devastating. Good head position here for Zach Westland. McGee doing his best to get off the cage, but man, as you said, Westland is a magnet. He's all over Stephen McGee in this fight. No room to breathe. I mean, just absolutely smothering. And you look, when you're up against the panels like this and you're in this clinch and this is a dog fight, you notice good wrestlers. They're always pummeling. Yes. You warm up pummeling in wrestling class for 20, 30 minutes. They're always trying to pummel in and get that underhook. That's exactly what he did. We're back here like we were in the first round, throwing Devis. See, he's pushing off. He's got to get. See, he tried to get up then, but like I said, Westland's a, a magnet, man. He's just all over you. No room to breathe. Throwing these punches, I guarantee you, Gary Copeland's. On, he's he's about ready to stop this fight. Stephen McGee could, doing a good job of elevating the hips of Zachary Westland, but it's just not enough. I mean. Westland all over. You got to thank Gary Copeland. He's inching closer, thinking about stopping this one. Zachary Westland feels it. He pours it on, and that does it. Zachary Westland picks up his first victory, moves to one and one in Queen City. Grappling is having a hell of a night so far tonight here at B2 Fighting Series 138. Yeah, I mean, look, that was a dominating performance, but I'm going to tell you this on McGee's half, man. He did make some adjustments, or he tried to. Yes, like yes. He, he pushed off. He was getting separation, like you said. He was kicking him up. I would have went for the butterfly guard and swept him right then. That's easier said than done. He was trying to make the adjustments. He just needs to make them adjustments in the training room, which with Matt Hamill, the hammer and Hamill, he will definitely do that. A legend in the game. Yes, sir. And look, great sportsmanship. That's what it's all about right there. Number one, that's exactly what it's all about. Look, man, we got a guy, Zachary Wesselin, that's going to be a contender in our amateur rankings. And, and, and again, you say, if you're not, if you don't know these guys personally, you can say, why, why, why do I need to care about these guys? That's Zachary Westland's second fight ever. That's Stephen McGee's first fight ever. You can follow these guys' career, and it's such a beautiful thing to see them grow and get older and mature in this sport and turn pro and make it onto the big show eventually. Not everyone's going to, but when it does, it's su it's such a fun thing. You have a little piece of that in your heart. You say, I was with that guy from the beginning. Exactly. Here's Case Nasser Lance Green for the official decision. B2 Fighting Series fans, your referee, Gary Copeland, has brought a stop to this fight at 1 minute and 29 seconds into the second round. Your winner by TKO due to strikes out of the Game Haven Red Corner, Zachary Westland. So the theme of the evening carries on, Andy. Zachary Westland picking up his elusive first victory in his so far short amateur career. He moves to one and one. With the same ones that was down from the jump day one Same ones been around when the ain't funds Even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one <laughs>